Hey everybody, I'm going to the Suffern Fishing Show. And I'm going to pick five things that are really hot there for the coming fishing season. Here we are at the Suffern Fishing Show 2018. Wow, look at that. Eight pound smallmouth bass. New York State record. Oh my god. Bluegill, two pounds, eight ounces. Compared to the size of my hand. Those look realistic. But check this out. Stripers, anyone? Or a tiny bluefish? Want me to take them out, my friend? Uh, sure. This brand is pretty good because it gets such lively action under the water. Look at all the choices of uh, sizes you have. 4.8, 5.8. And look how realistic they look. So if you love doing the wacky rig type of uh, soft bait finessing, Jack All brand is a great choice. This is the brand of my fish finder, but these are high tech. I'd rather have this kind of fish finder where you can see the fish in arches and then the bottom structure. They don't quite make a portable one for my canoe. But I can dream. These are complete with GPS and everything. You can save your spots for when you catch a fish and come back next time. Pick number two is actually a personal choice of mine. It's uh, St. Croix. I use these rods when I'm out canoe fishing. My rods are actually two-piece, so they're split in half and makes it easy to carry around. Splits like that. And they never failed me on the water. Spinning rods and bait casting rods. So check them out. That's my pick number two. Since I'm a kayak fisherman, this is the kind of stuff I like to see at the show. Unfortunately, they don't have that many kayaks here, but Jackson is a great brand. You can actually stand in these kind of kayaks. This one is called the Cuda 12. What's nice is their rigid back seat. These are the kind of kayaks you can take onto the salt water. The water just flushes right through if it gets into the into the boat. Nice large gear area and track system. These are cool. They're canoes, but they're actually made out of kayak type molding. The brand is New Canoe. Has a nice raised seating also, so you're comfortable all day on the water. And look at this. You can support yourself and stand up with this uh, arm support. So this is my pick number three, a kayak by Wilderness Systems. The one I'm looking at right now is the radar. Is this seat adjustable? Oh, okay. Oh, three different positions. That's cool. Why would you have it inclined? If you weren't catching fish and needed to uh, relax. <laughs> That's the best position, yeah. yeah. After you catch the big one, right? That's right. <laughs> oh, you can change the height it, level of that too? Well, no, it's, it's either up or down. Okay. That's the way you deploy it. And then this, if you're having a surf launch, you know, on the back of your truck. Or truck oh. Stow it like that so it's secure and out of the way. How much uh, does this weigh? Uh, that's the what I'm wondering. Itself, is it 85 pounds? Yeah. yeah. This would add like an additional 15. 15 pounds for the pedal system, and the seat is... I think that might be included in the whole way. Oh, okay. Thank you. This looks like a new kayak. Mirage Compass by Hobie. That's their pedal system. Slightly different than the uh, wilderness systems. I would say that's the coolest thing. You can hold your drink on the side of the boat here. So here is my fourth pick, the Smelly Jelly Line. It's awesome stuff. I've had a lot of luck where fish would bite and stay on the lure just a little longer just so you can hook set it. So they come in all these different flavors. Shrimp salt glitter, crawfish anise, and shad is a good one. I think I'll get that one today. I've had the garlic flavored one. I don't see it here, but uh, here it is. Here's the garlic flavor. That's a good one. You'll be stinking all day once you touch that. 
but that's good for putting on a lure. That's right. Whether it's soft bait, crank bait, gives you that extra chance of hook setting a fish. Cool, they have left-handed models. And I'm left-handed. Who's representing. How you doing? I know. Thanks. This one's a left-hander for me. Yeah, and pretty much you can order them and get them left-handed. Yeah. You, know, you can get them on the left-handed side. This one's $1.99? Yes. And this would come in left hand also? Left hand? Yeah. This is saltwater grade loose. Speed spool. And that's just the name of it, right? The custom? Custom inshore. Yep. Yeah, just yeah, custom right. inshore speed spool. It's the same reel. They change the handles and they put the wind grips on them. So wind, wind is like um, number one grip maker in, for like tennis rackets and golf clubs. And when it gets wet, it gets sticky. So it's it, so you have no slip when your handle, it, 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 your handle grips it nice and tight. Do you make the Pro Scion? We, we discontinued them last year. Ah, oh, okay. So what is like the replacement this year? Well, ballistics is what really took off. These just stole the show. So there was a lot, lot less demand for Procyon than there was for the ballistic. Uh, so when did Ballista come out? It's been out for a while, just like the Procyon was, but um, this year we reintroduced the line in an LT series, which stands for light and top. I love my Pro Scion, so it's, it's sad to see them go, but uh, nope. I guess uh, Ballistic is... Oh yeah, definitely, definitely does feel lighter. I thought the Pro Scion was a great buy, because this was 209 last year, the Pro Scions were like 150 Yeah. and you were getting every bit of it. You were just paying a couple more bucks for basically a ball bearing, and the name just never caught on like the Ballistic. Uh, so, yeah, it's hard you know, to sometimes say. Sometimes you're a victim of your own <laughs> success or failure. Right, right. So, this is my line why you, you know, I got my kids the Procyons, just because I have them. <laughs> Hand them down, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, those are nice, too. Yeah, yeah. I still love my Procyons, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, they should last you a long time and take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I love Daiwa because their reels are like butter and they're very strong and they last a long time. Those are the reels that I use. So next time, I'm definitely gonna try the ballistic. That's my last pick, Daiwa, high quality reels. Hey, that was fun to go through the show, check out some new stuff, and I had five things that were hot picks for the new season. So I chose two different lures by Jack All, a Japanese brand, a Wilderness Systems Kayak, St. Croix Rods, and lastly, Daiwa Reels. I've been using the Procyon model of the Daiwa Reels. And now, unfortunately, they're discontinued, I found out at the show. But there's a step up above that called the Ballistic, and that's even better because they're uh, mag-sealed, meaning that you can use them in salt water. And that's what I was looking for, really. Something that's good for both fresh water and salt water. When you're fishing in rather harsh environments, you want a reel that's going to last a long time. So take my picks with a grain of salt, try them out if you can, and see if you like them yourself. I hope you like this video, and I hope you enjoyed coming out with me to the Suffern Fishing Show. I had a, a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Please like, please subscribe if you found this video useful and you want to see a lot more outdoor and nature videos from me, because there's more to come. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.